Oh, hey, 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 Shalonda Gordon here, also known as the online marketing angel here with single mom making money tip number 21. Okay, and guys, I'm not going to stop. Right now, we're going to talk about how, again, continuing on with this series of how to get your mindset from the 97% to the 3%, right? Because we want our mindsets in the 3%, right? Okay, so here we go. Tip number 21. The 3% guys, they invest 10% of their income in their own personal growth. The 3% invest 10% of their income into their own personal growth. While the 97% invest as little as possible into, into their own personal growth. The 97% invest as little as possible into their personal growth. Okay. So my question for you is this, how much have you invested recently in the last week or two weeks into your personal growth? This kind of lines up with what we talked about on tip number 20 about studying daily, right? Like what do you purchase to study daily? You're investing 10% of your income back into yourself, right? Into personal growth, which honestly guys is constantly growing, constantly growing. Well, Shalonda, I disagree. I don't think you have to pay money to improve yourself. Okay. Okay. And based on this knowledge, you are currently, I'm sure, a millionaire and you have exactly what you need and desire. So we'll just leave it at that. Guys, yes, you need to invest money into yourself, into your personal growth. I'll be honest, there is a lot of information you can get for free. Okay. And there is a lot of growth that takes place for free. Yet, if you really want to break through, it almost, even part of that, investing that 10% into your personal growth, part of that isn't as much about who's getting the 10% as much as it's about how you feel about giving that 10% away. Oh, touched a the nerve there, didn't I? I just said something right there. Let me repeat that. Majority of it, that 10% you're paying for personal growth really is not as much about who's getting the 10% as much as it is about what it does to you and your mindset when you're able to give it away. I want you to think about that for a second. Think about that for a second. You are able to give it away so that you, it changes something inside of yourself. And ultimately, you begin to improve yourself. Now there are products and stuff, you know, you set income aside, there are a few like training products and things of that nature that I get, some mindset things, some books that you can read that can take your mind to the next level and things of that nature that that 10% can be used for. Ultimately though, if you're sitting here battling like, oh, I don't have to give 10% away, that's something you need to deal with. Because the wealthy understand the concept of open hands, money flows, money flows out and flows in, flows in and out, in and out, right? A closed fist gets nothing at all. So that's part of it is strictly switching your mind. Let, not allowing that fear of lack to cause you to make decisions that are not for your favor, but that keep you in a place of lack. Keep you in a place of lack. You know, I speak about this, yet understand these videos as a single mom, it, it happens to me as well. Especially when we're in situations and we take care of our kids. And we're looking around like, well, I can't put 10% into my personal development. I got to put 10% into these school clothes, 10% into this, into this and that and the other, right? Ultimately, guys, let me tell you what I did. I tested it out. I put 10%, took 10% and sacrificed it from my own stuff. You know, instead of getting my nails done or getting my hair done, I took 10% of what I was making and I invested it into myself and my overall income improved. It improved. Okay, I didn't have lack, letting it go broke that spirit and that fear of lack off of me and I was able to improve. When was the last time you really decided, you, you felt that thing of lack, that spirit of lack, that fear coming over you and you did the exact opposite than that fear required. That fear requires you hold on real tight to everything you have. When was the last time when that came over you that you just released it? Like, you know what, I'm investing in myself and made that decision. If you haven't done it before, it's about that time you gave it a try. I guarantee when you break that thing, it'll be freeing, one. Two, you'll begin to see increase in your life in a way you hadn't seen before. And increase doesn't always only come with finances, guys. Increase comes in many different shapes, forms, and sizes. 
many different, not just financial. Yet sometimes with the fear of lack in our finances causes there to be lack in other areas in our life as well. Because lack is lack. And it doesn't only answer to your money. Just something to think about there. Okay? Okay? Now, you know, you're ready to invest in yourself. You're ready to, you know, work on your improve on, on your personal development, on taking it to the next level. Guys, it's time to make a decision. Now, here's how, here's what, what you do. Here's how we make a decision. Well, okay, I can make a decision, but then what? Then what? Right, because you want the steps. You want to know what you need to do next, next, next. And I can guide you through that process up to a point. First, you're going to click the link, put your email in, get pen and paper ready, and take notes of the video that you're going to see next. Once you watch the video all the way through, take action. Take the $25 off, take your card out your pocket, take the $25, make the decision, take action. Begin to break the back of that fear of lack. Break the back of it and watch the increase. Click the link, singlemoms.wishshalanda.com. Have an amazing day and keep smiling.